why leaves change. You know, before I get into that, many of you know, if you watch our newscast, you've seen me do weather. I love weather. If it wasn't for this job, I would be teaching it. I don't just do it to be on TV. And I love doing the explaining things and really getting into depth. And this is one of my favorites. So before we talk about why the leaves change, let's bring the tree up. Let's go back a couple of months. You got this big, bright green tree. We notice like in the summertime, you have the bright sunlight shining down on the trees. It's warm. Everything's green. Well, it is green for a reason. And the reason trees are green is because of something called chlorophyll. Now, chlorophyll is a green pigment that captures the sunlight and it turns it into food. It's called photosynthesis. So you got the sunlight during the summer months, kind of getting a little bit of a closer look here for you. There's ample sunshine. That chlorophyll that's in there that's capturing that sunshine and feeding the leaf is constantly reproduced in the leaf. Now that chlorophyll is green and that is why the leaves look green. What you're seeing is the chlorophyll during the summer months. So now what happens during the fall? You have less sunlight. And when you do, that production of chlorophyll slows down and it eventually stops. And when it does, the green pigment that was there, it goes away. And the actual color of the leaf is displayed. The oranges, the yellows, the reds, they've been there the whole time. You just didn't see it because there was photosynthesis going on and chlorophyll. And I got, this is just, I just went over here because I got all these leaves all over my yard. It might be a little tough to see. But here's a yellow leaf, just like you're seeing on your screen there. There's a little bit of green left in there, and that is because there's still a little bit of chlorophyll. And also notice that there are some brown shades on here. Well, this is what happens in the fall. We get to peak viewing. You see all these colors. But as the days shorten and the colder temperatures arrive, the leaves then completely dry up. They lose all of their pigments. They end up falling. They become brown and they eventually fall off the tree. And what was once that beautiful green tree just a few months ago will then look like this during the winter months. And that's of course when you gotta get this thing out and walk around the yard and you know blow it all away and do all that. And in my case, it's <laughs> this goes on through late December. But that is why the leaves change color because they have the chlorophyll in there in the summer months. And then when the days get shorter, it goes away and you see the actual color of the leaves. In fact, here's a look here. Peak viewing for us is when all those leaves are at their peak color uh, between when they turn brown and when the chlorophyll is gone. And this is what it looked like today between 2 p.m. and 5 p.m. in Chantilly. Look at the beautiful colors there. Uh, in terms of our peak viewing in our region, it generally ranges because we have you know different areas. We have the mountains out to the west. We have southern Maryland a little closer uh, to the shore. So here's a generalized look at peak color. Typically, generally now, out into our western areas, mid to late October, up and down the I-81 corridor, around the D.C. metro surrounding communities. We're talking about late October to early November, depending on the year, depending on the rainfall of the summer, depending on if there's a first freeze, all that. Uh, there's a lot of variables, but then November for southern Maryland. And so the leaves were very close, depending on where you live right now. So make sure you get out and check out the colors over the next week or two. Now, we have the rain that's working in tomorrow. That's going to assist in bringing more trees down. The wind today, man, I, I blew the driveway off earlier and it's already leaves back there. The winds really will blow a lot of those off. So if we get one big weather event, it will take a lot of those down. But I just see tomorrow and then a nice dry trend to look at some of those leaves in the extended forecast. Hope that made sense. I'm going to post this on Twitter and my Facebook page as well. Bill Kelly Weather, if you want to take a look at that again, we'll send it back to you.